in this video we are going to be installing dvwa in kali linux dvws stands for damn vulnerable web application it is a php mysql web application that is very vulnerable and why do we want to install a vulnerable web application? Suppose if you're a security professional or someone who is interested into learning pen testing and you want to practice different types of web attacks, but you cannot do that over a random website over the internet, right? Because it is against the law. What you can do is you can use this and practice out different types of web attacks like command injection, SQL injection, brute forcing, file inclusion, cross-site scripting, etc. So without further ado, let's get started. First, open up your browser, go to Google and type in DVWA space GitHub and press enter. Go to the first link or you can find the link in the description box too. By the way, this tool is 100% legal to use. Think of it as just like your hacking lab. To download, click on code under HTTPS, copy this link or download the zip file. Go to your terminal, change to the directory of var forward slash www forward slash html and press enter this is the default directory of web server type in git clone paste the link and press enter if you get the permission denied error type in sudo git clone and paste the link and press enter type in your password for the machine and now i can see the directory has been downloaded we have to change the directory to an executable permission to do that type in sudo chmod space dash capital r space 777 and the name of the directory which is dvwa and press enter type in your password for the machine and now if i list out the content i can see the directory has been changed to an executable now change to the directory if i list out the content i can see there is a directory called config change to the config directory cd config press enter now if i list out the content of this directory i can see there's a file called config.inc.php.dist i will copy this file to the same directory and call it config.inc.php i'm just removing the .dist from the name of the original file now you should not be moving and renaming the original file because you might be needing the original file later so just create a copy Next, open the config.inc.php with your favorite text editor. You can choose nano or vim, but for the purpose of this video, I will be using mousepad. So type in sudo, the name of your favorite text editor, and config.inc.php and press enter. Now the changes I'll be making in the config file is the db user and the db password. You can change it whatever you want, but make sure you use the same username and password throughout. I'll be changing the db user to admin and I'll be changing the db password to password only now save this file Control s and quit this file now we have to start configuring the database to configure the database first start the database with a sudo system ctl start space my sql and press enter check whether your mysql has started or not with the sudo system ctl status mysql and i can see my database is now active and running now to configure the database, first I have to log into the database, but before that, I will change to the root user with the sudo su command because I do not want to type sudo before each command. From here, type mysql space dash u, u is for username, the default username of mysql is root space dash p and press enter. It's asking me for the password, but I do not have any password set for mysql. Probably you do not have any password set either, so that's why just press enter and you will be logged in. After logging in, first create a database with the create space database space, the name of the database. I will be giving it dvwa. Close the statement with a semicolon. Press enter. Now create a user for the database with the command create space user space admin at the rate 127001 space identified space by space the password and close the statement with a semicolon. Here, the username and the password should exactly match the configuration file that you put earlier. Here, 127001 is the loopback address. We are telling our database server to look into the local host. Make sure the admin password and the loopback address are in apostrophe and press enter and our user has been created. Now we have to grant all the privileges to this user. To do that, type grant space all space privileges space on space dvwa dot asterisk here dvwa is the name of the database and asterisk means this user will have the permission to access all the tables and the contents of this database space to space apostrophe the name of the user which was admin 
at the rate the loopback address again in the statement with a semicolon and press enter and now we can quit out of the database with the exit command i will clear my screen now my database has been configured i just now have to start and configure the web server to do that type systemctl start space apache2 and press enter check whether the apache2 has started or not with the systemctl status apache2 and i can see my web server is now active and running after the apache2 web server has started we have to make some configuration to the php file to do that type cd space etc space php here you might have different versions of php go to the latest version for me it is 8.2 then go to apache2 directory and you can see two files we have to make changes to the php.ini file so open the file with your favorite text editor i'll be using mousepad when the file open up search for the word f open i will press ctrl f to search for the word and i will type f open and press enter search for the line that starts with allow url f open make sure this is on and also make sure underneath it there will be another line which is allow url include that is also on for me it's off i will make it on save the file with ctrl s and quit the file after your configuration has been completed just restart the apache 2 web server once with a command systemctl restart space apache 2 and press enter after the restart of the web server has been done go to your browser and type in 127.0.0.1 forward slash dvwa press enter and you will be in the login page here in the username type admin in the password type in the password and after you're in this page scroll down click on create forward slash reset database and you'll be again asked to type in your username and password admin password and press enter now I have successfully started my DVWA in Kali Linux and I can perform all these types of web attacks. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below.